welcome to or back to my channel. I'm Shauna. If you're new here, I am a lifestyle YouTuber and life coach. And today I wanted to talk about manifestation. If you haven't already downloaded it, please go check out my free daily magic workbook, which has all of my most powerful journaling prompts for manifestation. It's available on my website and you can download it right away. I know the word manifest and manifestation have become super buzzy these days and almost cliche feeling, but they are really powerful tools and mechanisms to create any reality that you want. The way I define manifestation is simply the process of shifting your thoughts, energy, emotions, actions, and beliefs in order to create the life that you want and to be able to attract any opportunity, thing, person, etc. into your life. Ever since I was really little, I thought that life was really magical. And even though today I'm also super positive and like to see like the lesson or the good in every situation, even if the situation is hard, when I say magical, I don't just mean like, I think everything in the world is butterflies and flowers and sparkles, even though that kind of thing is available to you at all times. But when I say magical, I mean that I always felt like there was another layer to our daily life beyond what is already proven by scientists and what is physically tangible and visible and factual. Our human development and research has only reached a certain level and just because we haven't proven it doesn't mean that we don't feel it and really feel its realness. So I've always been kind of intrigued by and inspired by that more mystical fabric that is interwoven between all things and all matter and connects us all more deeply than we typically think we are connected. I've definitely forgotten about that magical quality of life here and there. I know it sounds so sad, but it's true. Like I've gotten distracted being a teenager, being really um, invested in other things that were distracting me from being able to feel empowered and be able to create any life that I want. I have definitely strayed away from the magical view of life, but in the last two years, I've definitely very intentionally been essentially resensitizing myself to being able to sense all the subtleties and nuances and be able to really look and observe. One thing that really stuck out to me when I read The Law of Attraction by Abraham Hicks is that we are constantly attracting things into our reality, whether we're conscious of it or not. Just your current set of beliefs and your thought patterns and your actions and emotions and energy, that is already pulling specific opportunities and situations into your life now. So why not get to know this process and intentionally get clear on what you actually want to attract and start bringing those into your field. The first step I would say is to create space to actually be able to hear yourself and to let your thoughts come out. So this could be in the form of journaling, such as with my daily magic workbook or with meditation, dancing, movement, stretching, yoga, walking, any way to just reel in your own energy and to be able to separate all of the stuff that's going on out there from what you're really feeling inside here. That's another reason why we decided to move out here because it is so serene that I feel like I am constantly so inspired by the natural world out here. It reflects back to me things that are going on inside me because we are also a part of nature and we're all connected and there's actually no separation. The first journaling prompt is about just writing down anything that's on your mind and not trying to judge it or edit it. Sometimes when I'm writing, I am trying to write something that makes sense and sounds good and that I could use for an Instagram caption and without making that part of me wrong, I just try to observe and notice when I am getting those almost perfectionist tendencies or the kind of like constantly trying to be working 
um, tendency and to shift it into just letting go and writing down literally whatever is on my mind. Step two of manifesting is to allow yourself to really desire. A lot of the times we are afraid to truly desire because we are taught from a young age that when we just really dive into our desires that it is wrong, shameful, and that we will lose control, etc. We've basically um, diluted our desires to fit into what we should be desiring. So even though, of course, in your work, it's very motivating to desire something that is for the good of people, for service, and for um, your very conscientious, con conscientious, conscientious side, it's also really important to let those other deep desires that maybe have been repressed come out as well. Like, do you wanna be seen? Do you want to make enough money to be able to wear anything you want, to be able to decorate your home in any way that you want and to live anywhere and travel and to do that while giving your all into service and giving to others your gifts. So don't forget both sides of that. And that is what question two is mainly about. Once you build a relationship with that dream and speak it out loud or write it down and really get to know it, you realize that it's actually not that far off from where you are now and that it's all highly possible for you because you are resourceful and smart and you can figure out a way. Okay, number three is getting clear on your why. Don't be afraid to go beyond the good girl archetype, which a lot of us struggle with and have a why that is what you think you're supposed to be motivated by and to be okay with having lots of different whys. It's all good if it is true to how you really feel. Number four is super important because a lot of the times we think that in order to call in our goals and our ambitions, we just have to do, 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 which in part is true. You do need to take action that is aligned to the end goal, but something you can do now before waiting until you have the clients or waiting until you make the money or waiting until you're able to move out of your parents' house or whatever it is, is to step into the energy of your end goal now. I am envisioning someone who is hosting retreats and I have booked out clients every single month. I have group programs that are totally sold out, etc. And I'm traveling and I have so much freedom, both time-wise, energy-wise, and financially. Before I have created all these programs and sold them out, what I can do now is step into the energy of that side of me who has already done that. That person is really confident, empowered. She holds strong boundaries and she speaks up for herself. And she isn't afraid to express herself. I can actually step into that right now without spending anything, waiting for something else to happen, etc. Number five is to ask for help from the universe. So you get to make prayers out to the universe and make wishes anytime and you get to feel that support arriving. Number six, what's the thing that could stop you from achieving your dream life and what's the antidote? We all have that one thing that is a reoccurring pattern in our life. Be super gentle with yourself throughout this whole process because it definitely involves some shadow work and when we are doing shadow work, a lot can come up. If you need extra support with this, consider hiring someone to help you, whether it is a therapist or a life coach or just a trustworthy friend. You don't have to hire the trustworthy friend, but you know what I mean. Number seven is the action part. What is the thing that would feel really good to do today in order to move a step closer to your goal? really important to not try to plan the whole journey because that could potentially cut you off from new opportunities that are even more aligned to the real thing that you want. Get clear on the big vision and then the little pieces will come. Leave room for the mystery. That kind of brings me to journaling prompt number eight, which is if I didn't compare myself to others, I would. Everyone is on their own journey and whatever struggle or hardship you have been through or are currently going through will actually be the thing that magnetizes your dream clients, your 
dream opportunities and friendships into your life because that is what makes you human and is what adds so much depth to the way you show up in the world. There is 100% enough money, fame, followers, success, respect, status, whatever you name it in the world for everyone to have. Your people, whether you are an artist, a coach, or you are a designer, you make jewelry, whatever your profession is, your people meet you where you are right now. Journaling prompt number nine is I am grateful for dot dot dot. Write down at least a couple things that you're grateful for because when you shift from fear and scarcity into being grateful for the things you have now, that is the ultimate baseline energetic for being able to call in anything you want from the catalog of the universe really quickly. Number 10 is to write down affirmations. Really tune into the ones that you have a relationship with right now and what you really need in your specific life. Even if you don't totally believe your affirmation at first, what happens is that you start to mold your own belief system for your own advantage. You start repeating these affirmations, it really gets more deeply ingrained in your mind and your mind starts finding evidence for proof that that affirmation or that belief is real because you can find evidence for anything, um, why not choose what you're looking for? This brings us to number 11, the final little journaling prompt in my workbook. It is today slash tomorrow will be dot 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 and I invite you to pick three words and to just claim them and step into the feeling of them and just embody them. The words I often choose are today will be quantum, powerful and magnetic. That pretty much wraps up my manifestation YouTube video. I am so excited for all of the magic that these journaling prompts are gonna bring into your life. And I am here to support you on your journey. DM me, send me a message, find me on Instagram, and let's talk. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I will definitely also show you our new house. So we are renovating and designing and making the space our own little by little. And I will show you that too. So all along the journey for lifestyle, and life coaching content. It's all related. Sending you love.